Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another weapon information video for the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we are looking at the brand new 4570 Jernberg Superior single shot handgun. Now, this thing is like a, a mini rifle, kind of like the uh, the 243 that we have as well, which is very awesome. Uh, it also it gives you a different set of zeroings and those zeroings actually are further out than the actual rifle which is the coachmate lever action 4570 and we are going to be comparing these two and talking about an upgrade so the 4570 was upgraded and it is awesome it is now a an absolute viable weapon again uh, for especially for like deer hunting and stuff but from my test on bison it's doing excellent if you get a long shot they're going to go down quickly uh on bears i've been hunting black bear with it and absolutely 100 percent, it is a beast now uh you could shoot a black bear with it before and it would take forever to die with a good shot and now it just smokes them and I think that I have one walk 33 meters, which in this game is a very short distance. Um, one walk 27 meters at the most after being shot. Now, I, I, in comparison, this one zeroes at 164 as the max range, and you really should not shoot over 150 yards with it, to be honest. Um, you're going to start losing power at that point. Uh, but if you zero 109 and under, you're going to smoke anything that you're you're shooting at. So if you go with this one, it does seem to follow the same rules. Uh, 109 is probably where you want to be, that or under. Um, but you can reliably shoot stuff up to 218 yards. And it's actually a lot flatter than the rifle is if you go over that a little bit so it, it makes it much easier to shoot stuff at further distances however now it, it's weird the handgun has a little bit more penetration it seems than the rifle at those longer distances but it does not seem to be quite as powerful at the 150 yard 218 yard range from my test uh, and I, I tested this on Black Bear and Bison on Silver Ridge for about a day. So um, this is a beautiful weapon. I ha do have a different skin on it, but uh, it's a, a beautiful weapon. It's very fun to play with. It is a If you need that power and you need something just very small to take with you, this is a viable option. Uh, I've... I have had a lot of fun with it. Now, um, it does accept all of the rifle scopes, the normal rifle scopes, and the Red Raptor. And let's go take a look at stats. All right. So the Jernberg Superior, uh, it is a single shot break action design with 45 caliber, 4570 caliber rounds. Uh, and it can use any regular rifle scope. It's also. It's like I had said, it's a lot like the Arcomo, uh, which is a great weapon. And this one has an accuracy of 75, recoil of 62, reload of 58, hip shot of 25. And it is as a single action shot or a single shot break action. It is just one shot. Um, it is still really good, even with that one shot, though, so. Uh, it does not, it is not affected by the quick speed load. Uh, the only weapons that are affected by that are the 44, any of the 44s, the, the 357, the 410 45, but not the other 45, and then the 454. All of those are going to have your speed load. Uh, unfortunately, this one does not, and it, it, is a little bit slower than the speed load i would say so let's take a look at the compatible items you've now with 
with the lever actions, you have a weird setup with the bullets. The more expensive ones are actually the worst bullets. So the 4570 hollow point bullets, you can get 10 of them for 660. Uh, they are going to be uh, effective range of 82 yards and uh, or 200, <coughs> excuse me, 20 penetration and 27 expansion and recommended class is 49. Um, now we have the same uh, uh, effective range and then penetration is 40 or expansion 6 with your recommended class of 49 if you get the soft point flat nose bullets. Uh, if you do notice though, the, these 10 of these run you 390 and their penetration is 40 where this one's penetration is only 20 and the expansion is 27. Uh, this is the one you'll have to start with, I believe. And it's, if I remember correctly, this is the one you start with on it. But um, it's, even though it's got a good expansion, it just doesn't really seem to do nearly as good as this one. And I, I guess it's up to the penetration of it, but uh, I would always go with the flat nose on those or the soft point flat nose. So as far as the rest compatible uh, items, we've got the Argus scope, the Ascent scope, Gen Zero night vision scope, the Hyperion scope, and the Red Raptor reflex sight. Uh, I'm going to go back up here for a minute. I want to say this is going to come in weighing only at a single unit of weight as well. So... Uh, a far cry from the four units of weight if you want to take the main one or the rifle. Let's go try them out. All right, let's test these things out, and I want to show you all a few things. Um, So single shot, if we go down to 54... This thing is pretty accurate. Uh, on 54 yards, even out there. Still, it's accurate pointing directly at it. With uh, the zeroing. So if we go to 208, it shot way over top of it. There we go. I actually held at the bottom to get that that time. So it was 218, I should say. All right. Um, so let's actually check out how the 4570 does. All right. In here, when you're hunting with the 4570 rifle, you do have to, to rechamber. I'm going to, well, I'll go through them. So it's, it's easier to see, but you can see right here, I have drop already. It's very, very iffy. All right, 54 yards zeroing. And no, it actually it's it's right on. So we'll switch to the the 109, and let's just throw on the sight and see how accurate it is with the sight. If we could do that, there we go. So that is a really nice um. If you're that close, this is an excellent weapon. But let's check this out now. Instead of having to use that, we can actually go in here and we have the Red Raptor. And that's weird that it was so far up there.
so if we put it down there we go now if we go for the ascent see how that works for us it's a much lower um zoom than the others but we can see that it, it is dropping with that on. Definitely dropping a little bit. Uh, so let's go to 109. At 109. It's dead on exactly where I'm pointing at that one out there, which is 109 out. So, uh, it's a really good, really good weapon. I'm, I have already taken some stuff with it. Um, let's look at it just with the night vision scope on, uh, you can see it kind of looks a little bit weird. Let's walk out here to get rid of that. It looks a little bit weird with it, but it is, it is viable with it. I hunted with it last night or yesterday in at nighttime on the game, and it it done really good. So the Hyperion, uh, you will have a really easy time with. I mean, there's with this the Hyperion and this weapon, you'll have no problems at all. And the last one to test out will be the Argus. So, so if you don't know the Argus small zoom or the least zoomed in, just say the minimum zoom is the same distance of the Hyperion maximum zoom. All right, let's actually zoom in. There we go. That's a that's a heart shot for sure. All right. Well, I will say um, I think that they have definitely upgraded the forty five seventy power for the rifle as well. And you cannot go wrong with either one of these. I would recommend actually taking the rifle if you have the space for it over the handgun, but just if you just need something just in case you you happen to come up on something this is going to be in my opinion this is going to take the place of your seven millimeter uh for one unit of weight this by far can outperform the seven millimeter now um just not really outperform it but out it's more useful this way so it is a very um useful weapon to have and i want to show you how it's reloaded just one time so and it he just tosses it away and pushes it in and there you go so all right that is the 4570 jernberg superior and yeah uh, it's it's a decent weapon to take along with you if you need something. Uh, now, you can still use the 454, but your zeroing on it is not going to be nearly as good as the zeroing on this. Your distance and stuff is just not going to be nearly as good. But that's going to be that, and I will see y'all next time.